Hello, uh, my name is Lamin. Welcome to my tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll try to help you about um, the loops. Um, so, in this case, we're gonna look at the while loop and then we're gonna look at the for loops. And in the next tutorial, we'll look at the break and continue. So, uh, for the while loop, we first look at the do loop. Okay, so we first look at Oh, let's just go and look at the while loop first. First, look at the while loop. Let's create a var, or we call it text. Okay? In this var, we call it text and equals to that. Right? Var, we call it text equals, equals to that. And we say var i equals to zero. So, um what we can do here is okay what we can do here is um very simple we can even take this out uh first of all i'll try to show let me show you an infinitive loop an infinitive loop first so we say var um var we say num1 equals to one num2 Van uh, num two equals to three, right? So in the two, we say va, let's just va num three equals to three. So in this case, we can for the infinitive loop, we say while well, num one is not equal to num two, then increment it for me, and then increment it. And it, it's gonna be this way in incremented, and this is really dangerous because it's an infinitive, it's going to be running forever, it can never stop. Well, while well, this one that we we're talking about, um, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be this way the the the, the, the definitive loop. So, um First thing we do is we create our variable, we call it i. i equals to zero. So we will say while, while i is less than zero, right? While i is less than zero, then please increment the text file for me. Sorry, please increment i for me. Sorry, one minute while i is um, is less than 10 please increment i for me so we increment i okay and if i say console here log and i say and i say um, and i say i is and I I here right and this it should give us an error it will give us an error because if you look at this way first show you this before I console it out or oh, because I made an error okay well if I run this it gives us 1 to 10 so let me just clear this out and show you here so it gives us 10 times, it gives i is 1, i is 2, i is 3, i is 4, i is 5, i is 6 till 10. That is because we said, we, we, we said um, i is, if i is less than 5, so it's less than 10, so it's going to start counting from, um, from 1 to 10. But if we say i is 3, so it's going to start counting from 4. So if we... If I clear this out, it's going to start from 4 to 10. So you understand this path now, but we need another path. So we say while i is 0, we need to do while. So we say do, okay. So in this do, what we're going to do is first console the i. First console i, and it was i i is and i this was it 
and we have i increment increment sorry um i increment increment and one more thing we need is a while loop while while i was less than 10. so this is the do while show you now this is the do while so I'll, I'll explain a bit do while for you do what is the meaning of do while do while means that do while means that it needs to x x see one minute it needs to execute it needs to execute always at least at least once okay so so if you understand what you're trying to say is a do well must execute once and it starts from the first it starts from the number itself zero if that makes sense to you so a do well is not very very frequently used most of the time while loop is more used so if we go to the for loop um for the for loop in this for loop there is um there is actually it is actually the best way of dealing with loops okay because you have everything in is the shortest and is the ch nice and lovely way of doing it but you get everything in one block of line unless the code that you need but the function everything will be in one block of line so it says for we go straight we don't need to create any variable we go straight to our for loop open our for loop we say var i equals to zero okay and and we say equals to zero and we say if i is is less than 10 then increment the i for me then increment the i for me so in this case i can just put my code inside and say console dot log and in the bracket i put i put i i put i is and and uh, concatenation i and that and this should actually run it so if I clear this out and run this out, it gives you everything. So you've seen that in the for loop, you get the same thing, but you cut it in two lines. So it's actually best used in the for loop, if I will advise you. But we have another thing. We have the break. We have the break. Okay, in this break, what we're going to do is, we're going to bring back that for loop that we had before. And use it for the break right so here I'm just put uh, query blazes uh, so in this break what we're gonna do here we're gonna bring our if statement say if if I is equal to equal is equal to equal to 10 okay then break it so we can cut this then we gonna say we don't need to we say break break we do that and we say we say if if i is less than 10 continue 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 that and that will be that so if we run this it's, it's telling you it's pretty fine because just gonna explain this to you in a bit I'll explain it to you in one minute so um, I'll just put I'll just put 20 here just to explain to you in a bit 20 there 
and it's gonna give you 1 to 10 why is it giving you 1 to 10 if I take this out and I run it it's gonna give us 1 to 20 sorry from 0 to 19 because it starts from 0 if you want it to count from 1 we need to put 1 here so it's gonna start from 1 to 1 to 20 so in this case what we can do here is what we can do is um, is if I if I wanted to stop only at 10 at 10 so if it stop at 10 then it breaks so that will break it so it, it stopped at 10 then it breaked it only we can only see 9 so this is an example of a break while in continue while in continue look what happens it continued until the last bit why is it continuing until the last bit continue means if continue means if this is equal to equal to that continue start all over continue to the last bit but break was if it is not if it is equal to equal to 10 break means stop well continue means to jump All right i hope you benefit from this thank you very much and see you in my next two tutorial where i'll be talking about um and i'm getting more deep about um javascript which we will talk about functions and methods thank you